So you clicked on this video because you want to learn how to become a better player. Whether you're a complete noob or you have been playing for a long time, it's basically a video that's helpful for everybody. Also, these tips aren't necessarily in order of importance. Anyway, so tip number one is to master one strategy. Even if you're not good with that strategy, spend hours on end mastering that one strategy. When you become insanely good at one strat, you'll learn so much more about the game than just that one strategy. For example, if you become a really good dart from ace player, you will realize that after you master that one skill, it gets way easier to learn other strategies and master them as well. Moving on to tip number two, always expect a rush. You need to keep in mind that whatever you're able to send your opponent, he is able to send back right to you. I see way too often how some people die to round 13 rushes simply because they didn't see it coming. Some people in this game play like the only way to win is to be the first one to all out round 13. If you learn how to defend these, you're going to be well on your way to greatness. This brings me to tip number three, practice defending rushes. So let's say you have that one strategy that you're really trying to improve with. So what you're gonna do is take a friend and go into various maps and then have him all out you where you know it's coming so that you can practice on how to defend. So this is gonna take some time to get used to. In the beginning it's gonna be difficult for you to start defending rushes but eventually it's just gonna become second nature to you. At some point it's just going to become a, a, an instinct, a reaction for you to defend all out rushes. Like as soon as somebody sends you a rush, you're just automatically gonna know what to do, what to click, like you're not even gonna think about it, it's just gonna become an instinct. This takes a while before this happens, but eventually it will, so just keep practicing. Okay, tip number four, play with people who are significantly better than you. I don't need to expand too much on this tip, as I'm sure you guys already know, Playing with people who are better than you allows you to learn from what they do and slowly but surely you'll start to mimic their actions as well as get an understanding of why they do as they do. It doesn't have to be a top tier player either, as long as the person you're playing is better than you, you're going to learn from it. Also, if you don't have a friend who's really good at the game, try and joining different uh, Bloons TD Battles Discord servers and start asking people if they're willing to teach you. If you're a nice and mature person all around, I'm sure there's someone out there who wouldn't mind helping you out. Tip number 5, learn from your mistakes. When you're in a battle, it's hard to analyze your gameplay, because you're in the heat of the moment. So what I recommend is to go to your battles TV and watch your replays where you lost. Analyze the replays and watch where you went wrong and how and why you went wrong. And notice what your opponent did right and so on. Also pay attention to your opponent's weak spots and learn to calculate whether or not sending him a small rush to force defense is worth it or not. For example, sending a $400 rush to force your opponent to buy $2000 worth of defense is a good decision. That way it allows you to outform your opponent. Farms are really important early on too, so you don't want to mess up when it comes to your farms as it can make or break your chances of winning. With that being said, I'm going to move into step number 6, learn every tower mechanic. A great way to learn tower mechanics is to go into random trio and just play there, because your opponent gets the same random towers as you do and you're like, okay, how am I gonna make this random trio combination work? That is what you learn by playing hundreds upon hundreds of random trio games. The reason this is a good thing to know is because sometimes you're gonna go against a weird opponent who just picks a random tower combination. And having this kind of knowledge is going to help you so much by going against unpredictable strategies. This will just help you generally just by knowing every tower you're also going to be able to win random trio much easier. But yeah, it's pretty much just giving you a better knowledge of the game entirely. Okay, so tip number 7, work on your mental game. This is more psychological than anything else, but so many people ignore this tip and it can ruin your game experience. When you play, always have a clear mind and know that your goal is to improve yourself. Don't let other people trigger you by facepalming you or trash talking you on Discord. A lot of people out there will try to bring you down mentally, especially if you're a really good player or a top tier player or even just a regular competitive player. So many people are threatened by new players who are starting to get good because they don't want anyone else to get better than them. So they try and take you down like that. Don't get disheartened by someone facepalming you or trying to get in your head by giving you the thumbs down or saying see ya. These are all tricks just to get in your head and sadly they work on a lot of people. Don't let this discourage you though. Just stick to your plan and don't let other people scare you. It takes a while to get used to this, but eventually you will. Unfortunately, toxicity is a part of this community and it's just something you have to get used to. Okay, so tip number eight, take a break every now and then. It's a really good idea because you can get so disheartened by losing a few games here and there. Honestly, if I lose more than three games in a row, I start to play like really bad and it is just not fun at all. So yeah, it's important to take some breaks. It's really good for your mental health as well, like as I talked 
broken in the last tip, but take some breaks every now and then. Just go watch a movie, play another game. I play other games, for example. I play I play Brawlhaller, I play Class of Clans, hell, I even play chess. Like, just do stuff, play other games, go for a walk, cook some dinner, clean your room, like, just get your head straight on and then come back to the game afterwards when you're ready to continue the grind. Playing too much can get way too exhausting, and you need to let your mind rest too. Tip number nine, watch people who are better than you. For example, watch some YouTubers like Asian Sensation. He is an insanely skilled player even though he is not a grinder. He does not play constantly 24-7, 8 hours a day, yet he somehow still manages to beat some of the best players. That is not because he plays constantly, but because he is just a really good player himself. Also, go to the leaderboards, go to rank 1 prestige players for example, and then just go watch their games, learn from their replays, and see how they play, and try to mimic what they do. Eventually, this will also help you improve to become better yourself. This is the final tip, and the most important one too. Number 10. Relax and have fun. At the end of the day, it's just a game. Don't, don't make it your life. Have other hobbies as well and focus on the more important things in life, such as friendship, education and family. Don't let yourself get too mad or upset over this game. Remind yourself that the point of this game is to have fun, so don't take everything so serious. With that being said, if you have found any of these tips useful, please remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Yeah, life can be super happy, life can be super sad. I'm trying super hard to separate the good and bad. I go back to my future just to get to my past. But knowing me, my DeLorean will probably crash. Sometimes I get in a taxi when I ain't got no cash. Worry if my credit card don't work, then I might have to.